When Idol was hit by one of the biggest K-pop scandals in 2021, many thought their career was over. Negative headlines persisted for months, leading to a key member's departure. Yet, after a profound 14-month hiatus, their triumphant comeback left the world in awe, leaving people wondering, how did they do it? Today, Idol stands tall as one of the biggest girl groups in K-pop's fourth generation, and this is their extraordinary story. Their journey began in 2018, a time when talented girl groups were seemingly flooding the oversaturated market. Their debut coincided with the likes of Fromis9, Aizuan, and Luna, leading to doubts about whether there was space for yet another addition. Nevertheless, Idol swiftly defied expectations. While there are many boy groups that are known for producing their own music, such as Big Bang, Stray Kids, and Seventeen, the industry rarely hears about girl groups who are heavily involved with their music. Idol steps into this void, changing the game. Leading this creative charge was their leader, Soyeon, who took on the crucial role of producing a significant portion of Idol's music. As revealed on I Live Alone, Soyeon personally pitches for all of Idol's comebacks, presenting the concept and all the creative aspects. Furthermore, Minnie and Uki joined forces, contributing their songwriting and production talents to support Soyeon's vision. Not only that, they didn't exactly start from zero. Before Idol's official debut, some of the members were already known among K-pop fans, creating a buzz of anticipation. Among them, leader Soyeon stood out with her appearances on popular shows like Produce One on One and Unpretty Rap Star, where she showcased her rap and songwriting skills. Mion, who was initially expected to debut with YG Entertainment's mega popular group Blackpink, made an unexpected twist by joining Cube Entertainment instead. Sujin's path was no less intriguing, as she was a pre-debuted member of another group called Inna, before finding her place in Idol. Mimi, Shua, and Uki each brought their unique talents with their varied prior experiences in the entertainment industry. This mix of diverse backgrounds and talents contributed significantly to Idol's distinctive identity. Within only 20 days of their debut, Idol accomplished a remarkable feat by securing their first ever win with La Tata. As 2018 drew to a close, the girls continued their meteoric rise by snatching multiple rookie awards at prominent year-end music ceremonies in South Korea, such as Gaon Chart Music Awards, Genie Music Awards, Golden Disc Awards, and Melon Music Awards. These achievements solidified their status as one of the most successful South Korean girl groups that wasn't produced by the big three record labels. In the coming years, they maintained their winning streak with Uh-Oh, Ha, and Dum Dee Dum Dee. The girls also competed in Mnet's Queendom, where they finished in third place. As their popularity was on the rise, an unexpected scandal hit one of their most popular members, Sujin, and this dramatically altered Idol's path. In February 2021, an old classmate of Sujin, A, accused Sujin of being a notorious school bully who would physically and emotionally abuse her classmates. They claimed the Idol stole people's belongings and hung around delinquents who drank and smoked. They even stated that Sujin drank alcohol and smoked despite being underage. Cube Entertainment denied all allegations. Sujin wrote a letter to fans denying the bullying claims. She admitted that she had smoked in the past, out of curiosity, but never hurt anyone. In the midst of the scandal, Sujin sits out from all idle activities, and the group did not have any comebacks. The scandal got worse when actress So Shin A accused Sujin of bullying her for two years. The actress claimed Sujin would verbally attack her every day with her group of friends and that the mental abuse scarred her for life. Though Sujin denied the claims, the damage had been done. In April 2021, Idol released a song called Last Dance for Universe, and Sujin was not included in the song or video. In August 2021, Sujin officially left the group, and in March 2022, her contract with Cube Entertainment was terminated. Thus began Idol's prolonged silence as a group. Typically, a strategy to recover from scandal involves making a swift comeback, ensuring public memory is refreshed with a new image and the artist is not forgotten. Idol, however, took a different path. They spent over a year focusing on solo activities to hone their skills. Soyeon made a solo comeback with Beam Beam and took on a mentoring role in My Teenage Girl. Mion ventured into her solo career with Drive and delved into acting, including a role in the film Her Bucket List. Mini returned to Thailand and embarked on a solo career releasing Money Honey. Uki, on the other hand, went back to China and debuted with Bonnie and Clyde. Meanwhile, Shua remained in Taiwan, making occasional appearances. Many observers believe these solo activities signaled the end for Idol. It was a period full of uncertainty, as revealed during their appearance on the In and Out interview. Leader Soyeon confessed she thought it would be difficult for them to hit big again. Mini, who was in Thailand, confessed to feeling lonely and questioned if she would be able to return to Korea again. 
In constant communication through FaceTime, we made conscious efforts to keep our hearts together, Soyeon adds. When news of their return finally broke, many felt worry instead of excitement, pondering if Idol can return to its former glory. This comeback was considered Idol's last hope as a group. Soyeon confessed that while preparing Tomboy, she was under immense pressure to make the song successful. This song needed to garner attention. They seized that last hope and charged forward. In March 2022, Idol made their first comeback as a five-member group with their studio album, I Never Die. The album was largely composed by Soyeon, Mini, and Uki. In the album's trailer, voiced by Mini, their unwavering determination shines through. I never say goodbye. I never stop. I never cry. I never lose. I never die. With their electrifying rock energy of their title track, Tomboy, Idol returns to limelight. In the music video, a vibrant cherry red jaguar explodes into flames as Mion fearlessly approaches the camera. Scenes depict knife throwing in the kitchen and pink revolvers in the bedroom, reflecting their unyielding spirit. Their unapologetic confidence surprised everyone. Tomboy exploded in popularity and marked a new height in the girl's career, with Billboard even naming it the best K-pop song of 2022. The song was praised for its empowering message, lyrics, and top-notch production. Following the massive success of Tomboy, Idol faced immense pressure regarding their next release, particularly for Soyeon, who takes charge of producing the group's songs. However, Soyeon already had a clear concept in mind for their upcoming Who I Am, Then Love For Who I Am Not. Just like its predecessor, the song became a massive sensation, both in South Korea and globally. It quickly dominated the top of real-time music charts, marking their second perfect all-kill within a year. This remarkable achievement made Idol the first group to accomplish this feat in six years, since twice in 2016. Earning a perfect all-kill means a song must dominate all nine major music charts in South Korea, an exceptionally rare achievement. Doing this once is already impressive, but achieving it twice in a single year is nothing short of extraordinary. In fact, for 2022, there are only four groups in history who have managed to achieve a perfect all-kill twice or more within a year. Big Bang, 21, Twice, and now, Idol proudly adds their name to this legendary list. Refusing to stop, Idol did not slow down once 2023 rolled in. In May, the girl group released Queen Card, a song about a girl who accepts her appearance and realizes her true beauty comes from self-love and confidence. This song needs no introduction. It was everywhere. Queen Card topped all the real-time charts upon release and achieved a perfect all-kill again. The girls even won a whopping 13 music show wins for Queen Card. On July 14th, Idol further expanded their career by releasing their first English single, I Do, in collaboration with 88 Rising, a U.S. multimedia culture company with a significant footprint in music. It is the first song on their upcoming first English EP, Heat. With the release of an all-English single, many are expecting the girls to expand internationally and release more English songs. While their past scandal may have cast a shadow, Idol found strength in adversity and turned it into their biggest driving force to come back even stronger. With their newfound recognition girls choose to do, they are destined for massive success.